Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to try fixing a MacBook, it's MacBook Air. See what's wrong with it and see if we can make it work again. I'm going to open this thing up and we'll see what's going on with it. I hope all's going well with you and your family. Alright, so we get a green light on this MacBook. And it looks like... 66 milliamps. We got 66 milliamps. So what does 66 milliamps usually mean? Does anybody know? No, serious, that's a real question, because like, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had 66 milliamps on a MacBook Air, so I don't know. So I'm trying to please bro all of you. So what does 66 milliamps mean? Anybody paying attention? Alright. Going once, going twice. Eh, uh, boo. Okay, fine. Fine! To figure this out on my own. As always, can't expect chat to do shit. Never pulling their weight, never paying their fair share, never figuring out what's wrong with the board. It's always me. I gotta do all the work, unless Piernov's here, of course. Holy shit, Piernov is actually here. Lewis is saltier than Eli today. You bet it. I've been feeling very salty today. Can't say why. So PP342 is present because we got a green light in the charger, right? PP bus G3 hot is 8.6 volts. All right, PP bus G3 hot is 8.6 volts, so we're just going to go down the line here. All right, PP VRTC G3 hot is... Is there corrosion on that? Is that dust or is that corrosion? Oh, tell me this is something where I just got to knock off one cap and it works again. Man, Paul is going to be so fucking pissed if he's watching this and I just knock off one cap and it works again. Paul is going to lose his shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, it is. Wow. Wow. Oh man, no, 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 nobody tell Paul what's going on here. He's going to be pissed if I, he knows I got this with the, his fucking shit cue. So, what was I doing here? Well, great question. So, there's a bunch of power rails in these machines, and this kind of works like a pyramid. So, first you need your G3 hot rails. Rails that are on all the time. S5, rails that are on when the computer is... Uh, off, I think. S4, rails that are on when the computer is hibernating. S3 rails, rails that are on when the computer is sleeping or in suspend mode, which is one level above hibernate. SO, rails that are on when the computer's on. So what I did is I went through all of the G3 hot rails, and I checked PP3v4 2 underscore G3 hot. Remember, that PP3v4 2 underscore G3 hot needs to be present in order for me to have a green light. I have a green light. And you can go over that in any of my one-wire circuit videos as to why, what the relationship between the green light and PP342 underscore G3 hot is. I checked PPBush G3 hot, and PPBush G3 hot was present. It was 8.6 volts. Over here in the schematic, it says 8.6 volts. So then I checked the next G3 hot rail, which is PPVRTC G3 hot. This is a rail for the clock circuit. And I find that that's here. So I measure it on this cap. U1900 is the chip that creates that rail. And when we looked in that area, it has corrosion on the capacitor. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, man. So now there's two possibilities here. Behind door number one, the CPU is shorted to ground. It has the PPVRTC G3 hot rail shorted to ground. And this is a dead CPU, in which case I will happily hand this off to my man Paul. And the second case is that, that that cap is bad and maybe the chip next to it is bad and it just needs an easy breezy little, just, you know, little correction and it'll all work again. So we're going to put some flux on there. This is great. This is great. Oh, boy. What a lovely board. What a lovely, happy little board. Man, did I get, did I get lucky with this or what? Of course, Eli is moving. He doesn't have the time to be salty. I was jealous of Eli until I saw the cost of houses where he's moving in North Carolina. I really, you know, people talk a lot of shit about New York, especially me, especially me, and how expensive it is and for what you get. But I don't, Eli just moved into Airbnbville. So where Eli is moving in North Carolina, you know, $600,000 gets you a really, really, really average looking house down there. And yeah, I get it. It's close to Whole Foods. It's close to Whole Foods, so fine. And some restaurants, but, you know, I live someplace where $600,000 gets you an average-ass kind of house already. Granted, the property tax is much lower there than it actually... No, it's not. I, I don't know why I just said that. In New York City, a lot of the residential property tax is 0.7%. 
It's when you go to Long Island or other areas of New York State or Jersey that you get hit with the 2.2% shit. Yeah, you could see that that, that wouldn't have just worked very well just being resoldered because you can see that there, there's a... Uh, you know, it's all corroded right underneath that pad there. So I'm just going to scrape that a little bit with the tweezer. Well, Apple Serial Lock Every Component soon is ED4. I don't know, but I want to... If, if uh, I do wind up being a part of new rights repair legislation being drafted, I would want to focus on avoiding that. Avoiding that being the new reality. You, you, you can't lock out people from being able to use other parts. I just bought 1.3 acres in Tennessee with a 2,400 square foot building for under $70,000. How far into the middle of nowhere is that? I'm curious. What is chip? Try power up without it. You can't power it on without the clock chip, man. You crazy? Are you crazy? He's... Will the Apple car require you buy a new car if one of the tires goes flat? The, the Apple car is probably going to wind up being the biggest meme. What qualifications would I need to work for you? You would need to know how to do the work that I'm doing right now. I don't have any sort of like, you know, you need an A+, plus. you need this certification, you need to have graduated high school with XGPA or any of that. If you know how to do what I'm doing right now, and well, assuming I had more business than I do right now, I would have a place for you. Business has been a little low due to the whole, you know, New York City being empty thing and people having no money thing. Yeah, you have to know how to do this stuff, you know. So there's a lot of dust on here and stuff that's gonna come off in the ultrasonic cleaner. Some of this dust that there was corrosion on it may have the, the whole green stuff on it. And also little solder balls like this is gonna, are gonna get cleaned off by my ultrasonic cleaner. I'm just gonna give it another quick look, look over before I toss this in the cleaner or, or test it out to see if it works. Now, do you think that the issue was my chip in that shorted capacitor or do you think the issue is going to wind up being PPV, G3 hot, uh, PPV RTC G3 hot being shorted to ground to the CPU? I really hope it's not shorted to ground to the CPU. Also, you may notice that similar to my last video where I trolled myself for an hour, I did not remove the CPU heatsink, which would reveal whether or not the short to ground was to the CPU before working on the board. So I was very close to making that same mistake I did last time twice, twice because I'm a moron. And uh, thoughts about soldered in Tesla EMMC SSDs bricking Teslas. I don't know enough about it to give an opinion. I mean, that, that's kind of the question for Chris, uh, not Chris, Rich Rebuilds to answer. I don't, I don't under, I mean, obviously my inherent bias is going to be to blame Tesla for that. My inherent bias is going to be to assume that they're doing it uh, for some sort of malicious reason to get you to buy another one or just 
be so that they can service at their own service center at a high price. But again, that that may not be the reality. I, I don't I don't know enough there to be able to give you a good analysis. But that would be that, that's probably what I would default to based on my perspective or the lens by through which I view the world. But that that I'm I'm giving you that disclaimer because I don't fucking know enough about uh, cars and electric cars and Tesla in general to be able to give you a, a nuanced, detailed analysis of it. But yeah, from what I've heard from Rich Rebuilds and watching his channel, it just doesn't strike me that Tesla really wants people working on their stuff very much. The thing is that th what Elon Musk has going for him there is the cult of personality. Tim Cook doesn't have a cult of personality, you know? I mean, Apple has a cult of personality to some extent. I, I sh you know what? That was a really stupid statement. Let me, let, me, let me try to correct myself there on my stupid statement. Apple and Tesla actually do have that in common. Apple can get away with taking actions that hurt the end user because they've created this, this um, thing with their products where people, it's not just a computer to them, it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's a brand, it's like everything works together and works perfectly and all that shit. There's, there's loyalty there that's built up. It's not like they just bought a tool. They, the people that own Apple products actually love their tool to some extent. And the same is kind of true with Tesla and people who are fans of Tesla. And it gives them a lot of ability to to do shit that you couldn't do if you were Ford, that you couldn't get away with if you were, you know, Chevy or Toyota, because people aren't fanboys of their fucking... V How many people do you see out there that are, like, fanboys of their Ford Focus? You don't see a lot of Ford Focus fanboys. You don't see, a, you know, or Ford Taurus fanboys. That doesn't exist, but you have Tesla fanboys. You know, you don't really see, for the most part... Acer fanboys, or, you know, Acer Aspire fanboys, but you have Apple MacBook fanboys. And it allows you to do stuff that you probably wouldn't be able to get away with as a company that, what, that didn't have that relationship with its users. I kind of... Anyway, as you can see, the fan is spinning, so this works. Uh, so the issue, now I know what to do. I'm going to add that to wiki2.rossmangroup.com at the moment I'm done with this video because this will help someone else learn how to uh, make... Um, how make a repair or learn where to look so as i've been telling you all i have been working on this wiki project for a while now and it's something that by, by all means i can use your help with if you know things that i don't know please do contribute i'm not as smart as some people in my comments try to make me out to be i'm pretty stupid and there's a lot that i could probably gain from having you all you all help me out. So there's this guide. I have troubleshooting guides here. So this over here, are my, these are my troubleshooting guides. So you go to MacBook Air. This is actually an 820-33437. I got the board number wrong when I first read it to you. So you go here, 13 in. And it gives you all of the different symptoms and then what the actual problem is. And the whole idea here is to try to build up a system that allows people to learn how to do this work in a field where there's not a lot of documentation or there's not a lot of, um, of training material. And one of the things that I hope to be able to accomplish with the new repair, with the new repair group that I'm, I'm putting together, I've wanted to start a group that promotes right to repair and I finally got my, my paperwork in for it, is it's not just about advocating right to repair at legislatures, it's actually about getting people who are best in class in the industry to start contributing to stuff like this. So I have a Discord below, there's a Letters to Lewis channel if you're interested in participating in this. Uh, again, this entire website has been something that I've really just kind of, let's face it, I've just been throwing this together on my spare time. So um, all of this shit is just me taking all the information that I have in my head, putting it here, and then people like mildly cleaning it up and adding formatting and stuff that have been very kind in Discord. But I would like to create something like this that goes beyond this, that does maybe other models of machines or goes over the issues that are common in iPhones. I want to create a coalition of people that are best in class at what they do, that are willing to contribute to this, that, and maybe at some point, uh, hopefully, if once this organization gets funded, actually have a budget to be able to pay people to contribute this type of information. So all the information that I've been contributing to this thus far, 
has been shit that I've been contributing for free on my own time, and anybody that's added stuff to it has been adding it on their own time, but I kind of want to find the people who are like the genuine experts in their specific sub-niche of the repair industry. Like, you know, this person knows their shit when it comes to diagnosing Samsung Galaxy S8 motherboard issues. This person really knows their shit when it comes to iPhone 10 board issues. This person knows their shit with MacBook Quarter repair issues and so on and so forth. Putting all their crap in here to make the industry a better place. Because the hardest part for me when I started out in this business, the hardest thing for me, above all else, was finding the information that allowed me to do my job. What parts are compatible? How do I actually do the parts replacements? How do I you know, figure out what's wrong with the boards? And I want to make that easier for the next generation. And I think I finally have an opportunity to do this. I f with this organization that I just started, I finally have an opportunity to actually start focusing on this as a job. And I, I want to start meeting like-minded people that would want to, to help me with this goal. Anyway, I'm just kind of uh, brain farting right now. But that's about it for today. We fixed the motherboard. Yes, for a lot of those new people to the channel, this is my job. I, I record it every now and then. You know, very few people watch it. But th th this is what we actually used to do here back in the day is uh, fix boards and show people how to fix boards. And one of the point the for all the people who are new here, one of the causes that I advocate for and that I'm very passionate about is something called right to repair. Lots of the culture over the past 30 to 50 years has shifted away from manufacturers giving independent repair shops and users, empowering them to work on and repair their own stuff and giving them the parts and the tools and everything necessary. I shouldn't say giving, selling to, to a, a place where we are today where they will actively tell the companies that manufacture the chipsets that go into their products not to sell it to anybody which keeps us from being able to fix our own stuff. So I've been pushing forward this more this cultural movement called Right to Repair, which is trying to remind people that this is something that Americans and people all over the world used to take pride in, buying devices that were actually repairable, buying devices where the companies did not go out of their way to take specific action that made it more impossible for you to work on your own devices. And I'm one of the, my projects now, my pet projects, is I want to make it easier for new people to get into this industry. We're in a time of insane, massive levels of unemployment. We're in a time where lots of people can't afford to buy a new one. There's a lot of broken stuff out there. There's lots of people that need jobs. And I want people to not have to crawl through the Shawshank Redemption sewer of shit that I crawled through while I was learning how to do all this. So if I had a guide like this, if I had information like this that was made available in the very beginning, I probably would not have stayed in my office until 4 a.m. every single day for several years until I, until I learned it and got good at it. I want this stuff to be available, but I want it to be available from, A, I want the, the, the work that's on this wiki to be made better because I know that this is missing information. I know it could be better. I want there to be better information on here, but I also want there to be more information for more different types of devices. Samsung Galaxy devices, Motorola devices, you know, there are people out there that are experts in their specific sub-niche. I want to find those people, and I want to figure out if it's possible that I, once I verify that they have good information in their head, that they're fucking good at what they do, if I can start extracting that information from them and then financially compensate them for doing so. Uh, again, this is you know th this is not going to be a nonprofit where I'm going to be rolled in, in tens of millions of dollars, but it is going to be an uh, it's going to be an organization where I can actually fund shit like this, and I kind of want to make, and I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared because in the past, when I failed at something, I could always say, well, I failed, but I could never get a I couldn't get a business a proper business loan to move, or I failed at right to repair and pushing that, but I was you know that th that's me carrying my fucking camera. Uh, using super chat and patron money to travel around the country. But if I fail now when I have better resources or are better capitalized, then I failed because I suck. So I'm a little nervous about it. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm also excited at the same time. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of new developments I'm going to keep you guys uh, posted on. And uh, I'm going to probably just stop talking to myself at this point. I'm going to end my stream because i got some other stuff to do. Uh, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll include a link to the Discord down below. And uh, thank you. See you later.